What's going on guys? Austin here and uh, in this video we're going to be taking a look at 5 Minute Fantasy's Week 14 Booming and Busting Running Backs. My start of the week I'm going to say is going to be Melvin Gordon. I think that um, right now the Chargers have kind of shifted to be to be using him more. Uh, Jacksonville, they're not great against the run. They're also not great against uh, defending passes against running backs. So don't be afraid to start Austin Eckler. I just think specifically Melvin Gordon is going to be having a good game this week. Uh, definitely start Miles Sanders against the Giants. He seems to be what the Philadelphia Eagles are looking for towards as their new bell cow running back. Um, you know, he's a rookie this year, so I think they're just kind of integrating him into the offense. Um, but you know, over the last couple weeks, he's been averaging around like 15 or 17, somewhere in there, points per game. Um, start Philip Lindsay against Houston. Houston does not have a great running defense. Uh, and Philip Lindsay, you know, he's, um, he's had a slow last couple of games, but um, you know, Denver likes to win. Uh, you know, they're not they're not really one that's going to be looking for their playoff spot. So, you know, look for him to still be churning out yards and trying to win games. Uh, I'm going to say Sonny Michelle for the same reason why um, I said to sit Patrick Mahomes. Because this is a playoff game for the New England Patriots. Because if they lose uh, one of those, you know, top two seeds, if they lose the bye, they know that they're not going to be ma uh, able to make the Super Bowl. And if you check last year's last year's playoffs... In three games, I believe Sony Michelle had around 500 yards and six touchdowns. He is their ground and pound, cold weather bell cow, and especially uh, coming into a game against Kansas City, where you know they're they're giving up the most fantasy points to running backs in the NFL. I think that you're going to need the big body uh, between the uh, guards rusher that Sony Michelle is, and I'm also going to say start Devonta Freeman. I think that uh, you know Carolina's defense has slipped over the last couple weeks which may be one of the reasons that led to the Ron Rivera firing. But, you know, because of that, um, you know, Devonta Freeman has a favorable matchup against the Panthers again. Um, I think it was maybe three or four weeks ago, you know, he had another good stat line. Devonta Freeman's still a, a really good running back in the NFL. It's just, you know, it's, it's hard to be seen on a, on a team that's going to win maybe four games by the end of the year. I'm going to say sit Alvin Kamara going up against the San Francisco 49ers. The only running back that has actually gone... Um, into a game against San Francisco and really uh, carved them up was Christian McCaffrey. I think he had around like 160 total yards against them. Um, maybe a touchdown, but probably not. Um, you know, so you know the best running back in the NFL uh, can do damage, but you know nobody else really has. So I'd be careful about him, especially you know Alvin Kamara's kind of had a slow rough uh, last couple weeks after coming off a you know a, a dinged up uh, game where he sat. Uh, I'm gonna say sit. Darius Geis against Green Bay. I know that he just had a great game. However, he's still a rookie. He's still on Washington. And I think that Green Bay is going to have, or Green Bay is going to score, which is going to make Washington have to abandon the, the running game pretty early. Last week, you know, they got up on the Panthers somehow and they were able to really eat up the clock. I don't think they're going to be able to do that against Green Bay. Uh, so be careful about that. I'm going to say sit Kenyon Drake. He's going up against Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's got a great defense. Um, not much to say there. Uh, I'm going to say sit Joe Mixon. Without Miles Garrett, I don't like the Cleveland Browns defense as much as I used to. However, they've still got enough talent in different places to be able to shut down um, you know, an opposing team's offense if the opposing team's offense is Cincinnati. Uh, so you'll be careful about starting him. And then my last sit of the week is going to be Chris Carson. I think that the Los Angeles Rams are really trying to make up ground in uh, the NFC... Yeah, in the NFC West. And, um, you know, stopping Chris Carson has really been the model to beating the Seattle Seahawks team. Uh, over the last three weeks, Russell Wilson has been averaging 250 total yards. He has four touchdowns and four turnovers. So he's really not been the MVP candidate people are saying he is. Um, you know, it's really starting with the ground game, and I think the Rams know that, so be careful about him getting game planned for this week. 